Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Thank you for watching this clip on deciding if two lines are perpendicular, parallel, or neither. This is a very interesting problem in that it combines everything in Algebra 1 into one particular problem. Let's get started. In order to decide this, we're looking for slope. I tell my students, whenever you think of slope, think of skiing. This one, when you ski, slope is equal to zero. It's a flat. Now, I hope you're not going to see any time slope of such mountain here, because then you're going to fall into a crevice. And this one, slope is undefined. Okay. So when we have lines to decide if they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither, we're looking for their slopes. Let's get into the slope intercept form. It's called a slope intercept form because it has a slope here and it has the intercept. The intercept is just to say, look, if you have x equal to 0, then y is equal to b. And that's why it's called intercept. It's literally the line cuts into the y axis. Okay, so the first line we have is already in the slope intercept form. The slope here is 4. And the second one is not quite there yet. We have to do a little bit of work. 8x plus 2y equal to 16. So 2y is equal to minus 8x plus 16. All I did is move the variable x over with the coefficient, with the constant. I'm going to divide it by 2 to get into my slope intercept form plus 8. So my slope is minus 4. Now, when two lines are parallel, if you draw two lines, you'll see they have the same slope. That makes sense. So think of those as your skiing shoes. I'm trying to draw the shoes here. And when you step on it, the both bottom are parallel to each other, so they have the same slope. Okay, now since I have m equal to 4 and m equal to minus 4, they're not parallel. Now, when two lines are perpendicular, something else wonderful happens. When they're perpendicular, the product of the slope m1 and m2, the product is, got to be careful here, is equal to minus 1. Your book might tell you it's fancy terms and it's negative or reciprocal. But that's all it really saying. When you put a slope, multiply them together, you should have minus 1. Well, when I multiply those two slopes together, they have minus 16, so it's not perpendicular. The sign means perpendicular. And the only thing left is then it's neither. Okay. Well, that's how we handle deciding if two lines are perpendicular, parallel, or neither. I hope it's clear. Please be sure to leave a comment on YouTube and let me know if it helped you. Until next time, have a confident day.